So it's important that we can visualize the symbols of our set notation. So let's go through that now. The first one that we're going to deal with is A, the union of B. And we know that that's just everything in A and everything in B and where they overlap as well. So that's what we're going to shade in there. The next one that we have is the complement of A, which means everything that is not in A. So we're just going to highlight everything that is not A. So highlighting everything that's not A, that's the complement of A. It's going to look something like this. Perfect. And you know, if we were to do this precisely, all of there should be none of this A that it's highlighted, but I'm a bit messy, aren't I? Okay, next we have A, the union of B, but the complement of it. So everything that is not A, the union of B. So if I look over here, what I want is the complement of this. So everything that is not here. So that's just going to be everything outside. And again, you're going to try really hard not to shade within A, the union of B. Perfect. So not, not perfect for me, but good enough. So what should be left blank here is just A, the union of B. We continue going here. So we have A, the intersection of B. This is just the portion for which they overlap. So A, the intersection of B, it's where they intersect, it's where they overlap, just that part right there. Next, we have one that's a little bit more complicated. It's the complement of A intersecting B. So what you might wanna do is just watch what I do here and then fill it in after I've done it. So what I'm first going to do is just consider well, what is the complement of A? Well, the complement of A is everything that's not A, right? So it's going to be everything here. Again, just a bit rough, but good enough. Then what I'm going to consider next is B. So I'm going to highlight everything that is B, which would be here. Now we're going to ask ourselves, well, where do these overlap? Where do they overlap? Where do they intersect? And that would be just this portion right here, just there. This is the only area in which I've highlighted with both colors in this part right here. So if I was to get rid of my, both of my colors now, get rid of that one, then get rid of my blue, get rid of all that, I can just highlight the portion that I'm interested in, which is right here. So that is where the complement of A intersects B, just that part right there. And then last but not least, we have the complement of A intersecting the complement of B. Again, you could go through this the long way. And again, you might wanna wait until I'm finished here. The long way to do it would be to first consider, all right, what's everything that's not in A? So everything not in A is everything here. This is everything not in A. Then you wanna consider everything not in B. So we come over here, here. Everything not in B would be here. All right, now you wanna figure out where these intersect. So where do these two colors overlap? Well, they overlap just on the outside part of it. This is the only place where they overlap. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm gonna get rid of everything. I'm gonna grab my highlighter. And the only place where they overlapped was this part right here. Perfect. Hopefully you have a good understanding of how to visualize all these symbols of your set notation.